Hi, on this episode of Monster Lab, we're gonna show you how to take clothes from your closet or Salvation Army or wherever you wanna get them and turn yourself into a zombie. Now, this is a continuation of a series we're doing on taking and making a complete custom zombie where you sculpt your own mask to fit your face and uh, how to mold it and everything. And this is the final step to becoming a zombie and like an instant zombie. Like you're gonna be able to just put this thing on, put the clothes on and go and terrorize the city. Now, I went in the closet and picked out this stuff. Now this is an old suit, it still fits me. So it's a little bit of a sin to shred this thing and spray paint it, but that's what we're gonna do. And it's actually very simple. Um, basically, what you need are spray cans of, uh, this is all like primer. Um, but I've got black, brown, and gray primers. And the primers work well, they're kind of flat and gnarly. There's lots of other ways to distress stuff you can do. There's Fuller's Earth, which is great, uh, like if you want to distress it and then wash it out. But we are going to destroy these clothes and make them special. Uh, the other thing that is nice to have is uh, a rag, always handy, gloves, just to stay neat. Uh, this is not necessary, but it's a really nice tool. You have to get on Amazon and go to like a leather goods thing. It's a leather roughener and it's got like hundreds of little needles and it just, it can give the look of age. A razor blade, one of these retractable razor blades and be careful with this. You know, we were doing uh, a job. We had 1100 zombie costumes we had to make for Six Flags. And I had a couple of young guys, a uh, gallon guy, and they were helping me uh, shred. And I said, now be careful with those because you know, it doesn't look like it's dangerous, but this is dangerous. And sure enough, he just, you know, he's like, hey. <laughs> so anyway, be careful with the razor blade and then just some scissors. And I'll show you how to use them. So we're going to spread these out on tables. Now I've got a ventilation system in here. I would recommend doing this outside, get some tables or something, uh, or find a place where there's good ventilation. Uh, if you, if it's the middle of winter or something, then I would wear a good respirator to um, keep the air clean. So we're going to spread this stuff out. I like to start with the back. It's funny how you buy stuff and it's all cool and then someday you just don't care anymore. All right. I've also got a tie and suspenders. All right. So, now don't distress the, uh, don't, uh, you can paint them, but you can't cut them. <laughs> but uh, take the razor, just put it out a little bit. You don't need much. And just go in and cut. And you can cut out chunks. You can rough it up. Now this is where the rasp comes in handy, but the razor can do an admirable job too. But I like to get, stuff cut out of it so that it's it's really worn before you even get get in there with the rasp and and also I wouldn't cut in the center like you don't want to cut the center of the shirt and then have your skin showing um, it, it because you, it's bad enough, I'll, I'll go over this later, but it's bad enough that your hands are gonna show without makeup. You don't wanna have that, mm, that looks different than this. Same with the pants. I'm gonna shred the pants legs a little bit. But I'm not gonna shred the knees. Cause that's, now another area you can go in and do some shredding is like pockets and things. And, and, and again, I would stay away from up here because you don't want to cut it and have it be all loose and baggy. Same with the coat. And I'm kind of going in crisscross like I'm doing like pyramid shapes. 
like this. Remember to watch, don't, don't be like getting close to your hand. Get, you need something to hold it still, but keep it back here as much as possible. Um, get, now, one thing I like to do is at least on one side to kind of shred one of the shoulders, just because it looks cool and you can, there's material there. Plus the coach, you can be a little more um, aggressive with distressing all over because you've got a shirt underneath. So. Uh, you know, you can cut the coat up here. A lot of times they have liners and things. Okay, now I'm going to get the rasp. So now the rasp is good for making it look rotted. The, it's already shredded, and um, but that's not really, it's not really rotted. So this, you go in and it, it makes the, looks like the moths have been eaten eating this cloth. And again, this step isn't absolutely necessary. You could just be much more uh, refined with the razor and just do little scratches and things. I only got this rasp recently and um, I went to a <clears throat> Alan Hopp seminar. And he was using it. It's like, dang, that's perfect. So, and I'm going around the areas that I cut, so they don't look like just slits. It looks like rotted away cloth. clean this periodically it gets gummed up and I'm actually sometimes kind of using the razor blade sideways to kind of scrape it and, and this is where it can simulate the rasp if you don't have a rasp just use it sideways and it and it uh, roughs that up real nice Now I'm going kind of savage. I wouldn't necessarily go as fast as I am here. I, I've been doing it a long time. I've learned to watch out for my fingers, but I would, uh, you know, unless you're going to the races, I would just take your time and do a good job. You know, I changed my mind. I think I'll keep the suit. No. I'm also kind of, with the rasps, I'm dragging and getting fresh hooks in as I go around, and um, that helps too. You'll get to hang all this stuff, but sometimes just knowing a few tricks makes life a little bit easier. You want to be sure and get under the collar with both the, the rasp and with the spray paint, because you know if it moves a little bit, then you got a perfectly clean spot there. That's no good. That's pretty rotty. Lay it back down for spray painting. Do the same to the pants. Not too much up high. You focus mostly down by the shoes.
I'm doing it a little bit more carefully and lightly up here. I want it to distress, but I don't want to risk ripping through. Okay, we're going over to the shirt. Now with the tie, I would leave alone the part that wraps around your neck just so that it, you can still tie it. Okay, so now that it's distressed, we're going to use uh, spray paint. Now I normally start with, with um, brown. Uh, and then go to gray and then black kind of cleans it up if it if it needs it and black you might use like around the bottoms of the pant legs where you know they get muddy and things like that but if it gets too splotchy or something black can kind of come in and just fix it and I I usually put more distressing in the uh, areas where I've done the most shredding. And if there's any white stuff, like there was a white thing in the shirt, man, that's gonna go away. You don't want any distractions. This is art. This is dead, bloodthirsty zombie art. get the back of the tie because sometimes they flip around and I'm going to go ahead and distress these suspenders even though I'm not going to cut them at all just to have everything color coordinated Everything gets flipped over. Okay, for the rest of it, I'm going to um, wear a respirator because I don't have the, the ventilation fan on and we're just going to go to radio silence and, and um, I'm going to get a mask on and you should do the same. So uh, after I put my mask on, I did the gray primer and a little bit of black on the edges, uh, but I decided to save my life instead of talk through the spray paint, because spray paint, eh, that's really, you shouldn't be breathing that. Uh, but this is the result of the uh, cutting and distressing, and this is kind of what you want to end up with 
where it's heavily distressed, uh, kind of in the wear areas, like around the, the, the wrists and, and the lower part of the coat. And that's the look. So I'm gonna take Dead Ed for a little night on the town and we'll see you there. Oh, I, 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 I,